Okay, so you've seen my reviews of the RevoPoint Pop and the RevoPoint Pop 2. So, is this one really better than this one? Let's find out. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use both of these to scan our eagle friend here. He's a very majestic eagle. I'll have him going around on the turntable and we'll use, you know, the same lighting, same everything, except the scanner will be different. So let's scan him with both of them and see how they come out. I was going to show the scanning process, but if you've seen my previous videos, you've already seen it. If not, click above. Plus, it's not very interesting to watch me staring at a laptop screen for 20 minutes. Trust me, I've seen it. Okay, so here are my three scans. Uh, the first two uh, are the, the real scans that I was doing, the comparison. Uh, on the left here we have the original POP, and in the middle we have the POP 2. And I used the same settings for both. I used feature mode with the exposure set to 3 for the infrared. And so we can see the uh, details not quite as nice on the original POP. Uh, the coloring not quite as good also. So you can see much better detail here. Um, it both times it did have trouble getting under the wings and the eyes that are black. Uh, it also had a little trouble with the edges of the pedestal down here. Uh, I think because they're also a dark color. And yep, same thing on both of them. Now on the third one, I was using the POP2, but instead I decided to use the uh, dark slash hair mode instead of feature mode. And I also um, tried to crank up the uh, exposure, and I, when I was creating the mesh, I did tell it to fill in the holes. And I did that because most of the holes were just very tiny. Like around this area, there were some very small holes. Uh, so, but you can see it really did get a lot more of it on pretty much almost everything scanned. So let's take a look at it without the textures. Switch this over to solid shaded. And we can see, you know, some decent texture in here. And. Um, uh, but it did get some better detail on the POP2. Uh, yeah. Uh, in here, it's, it's kind of just soft. Where in here, you can really see all the lines from the feathers. And then, interestingly, the uh, dark slash hair mode, I feel like it's a little bit softer again but it did capture so much more detail, or so much more of the model. So I guess that's a, uh, something you can play with. Uh, so let's turn them around, we'll look some more at them. Okay, so he here's an interesting spot. On this wing, uh, a lot of this detail is just kind of not good. Um, I'm not sure if that was just my particular scan, but you know, it's not like I tried this one over and over and over again. I just did it once. Uh, I thought that was the you know, the best way to do this comparison, just to do each one one time. Okay, so uh, as we can see again on the pop two, I don't ha have that problem. Okay, and then on. The dark feature mode, or dark and hair mode, uh, it, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, it, and around here it looks pretty much the same as the uh, feature mode. Uh, except like, with a lot more of the holes filled in, of course. Let's look around some more. Yeah, so again, we can see these dark areas did not get scanned on the original pop. 
The POP2 did better, but it still has some holes there. And then, of course, the darken hair mode did much better. Got everything in there. All right. Give a little turn some more. And yeah, so that's it. Let's uh, put the texture back on. And we'll do one more turn. And uh, you will notice uh, the one in the middle here is a bit darker. Um, I do believe that's my own fault because the uh, exposure was set differently on the, uh, the color part. Uh, there's one other interesting thing uh, we had with the texture. On the dark slash hair mode, we can see some problems with the texture, like down here on the pedestal. And the tops of his wings uh, look kind of frosted, uh, from I guess from the lighting. There's white up there. And another issue, I don't know why, but around here there's this line going across where the texture is slightly different on either side. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. But yeah, we'll just come back here and we can see even still the uh, texture is so much better on the POP2 than it is on the POP1. Okay, so that's it. We've done our scan or comparison. We've even done a little extra work on one of them. And that's it. Um, yeah, I'll leave this up to you to decide which you think is better. Uh, I think I gave my opinion on which one I think is. But uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.